Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a travel flyer like this inside of Photoshop, right? So if your hands are not busy, if you've not subscribed to my channel, can you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the post notification so that you miss any videos I'll be working in 10 from now. Without having to say much, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on file and click on new like this and i'm going to change this instantly to inches and i'm going to set the size to a four by five like this and over here i'm just going to put travel flyer yeah you guys are right so travel flyer rgb color transparent and click on create right so now we are inside of the interface the first thing i'm going to do is go to solid color here and i'm just going to pick white and click ok like this okay great so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my resource file the link to the resource file is in the description of this video right so i'm just just going to drag this and place it here expand this to fit my canvas like this and uh, move it up like this and um, this is what i have here so i'm just going to reduce your opacity like this and um I'm going to go over to the adjustment and I'm just going to select hue and saturation, right? Right click on the layer and create clipping mask. So I'm clipping it to the max below. Click on colorize and um, copy my settings for this please. So saturation should be somewhere around here. I'm just going to use 23 and um, when you're done, I'm just going to reduce the fill also like this. And um, I think I like the way it is. So select this, hold down shift, select this, and um, right click and group everything together. So it's here, group from layers. So I'm just going to give it a name, background, BG. Click OK. And that's the first thing you need to do. Okay. So um, moving on, the next thing I'm going to do is go over to my resource file, bring in this image of this traveler like this and I'm going to have it somewhere here okay have it somewhere here click enter and um, the next thing I'm going to do is okay I think it's good here go over to the text tool and I'm just going to type this so it's going to be travel so that's the font I'm using so I'm just going to type travel like this. Of course, I'm going to change the color to black. Click here and use a darker color. I might change this later on. Move this upward while you make it bigger like this. And um, Ctrl J to make a duplicate copy of this. And uh, double click on thumbnail to edit the text. So this is travel around. Ctrl T and um, resize this to make it smaller so it fits the frame of the travel duplicate this and um, click on the thumbnail and with ease this one should be with ease here like this cancel the arrow in place of e like this and um, ctrl t reduce this like this move this downward and um, we're good to go and um, on that properties I'm just going to space this up. Let me see 600. 600 doesn't look nice. So I'm going to use 2000. Click enter. And um, I'm just going to make this smaller like this. And move this downwards like this. Okay. So select this, select this. And uh, move this upward using your arrow key. Holding down shift. And... Um, good to go select your text tool and use it to draw a frame like this and i'll change this and then of course i'm just going to paste in my font here like this and i'm going to extend this but i'll use the font first double click and uh, make some adjustment here Make some adjustments you can expand the frame of the text i'm just just, go, just going to copy this right and i'm going to paste it here like this 
bring this down to reveal the old texts and you can change the font here i'm going to use something something lighter should be good i think i'm going to stick with this for now okay you can see there are some additional things i don't want here so i'm just going to remove all of this and delete it and while i space this inside and um, of course okay i'm going to leave this this way like this So select everything, Ctrl T, and uh, make it a little bit bigger, like this. Okay, so moving on, um, I'm going to go in to my Smart Designer Premium Asset. So if you've not gotten yours, the link to get yours is in the description of this video. So make sure you don't miss it. You can see inside of my PNG section, I have so many PNGs inside here that you can use for your projects and for your design work right so i'm just going to select the file i'm going to use for this design here and um, it should be somewhere around here you can see all these are high quality png images right so this is just a file inside this smart designer PM asset so get yours and um, take advantage of all you have here so i'm just going to navigate to where i have the particular image i want to make use of right so i believe it should be somewhere around here so yeah this is it so i'm just gonna drag this inside here like this and um, position this here but we have a slight issue but let me resize this first and place it you can see it's red so let's change the color from red to the color that fits what we want to do so moving it up first i'm just going to go all in and i'm going to select go to adjustment and go to hue and saturation right right click and keep it on the image like this and click on colorize and copy my settings for this please right so reduce the lightness and um, you have this so with this i'm going to hold down shift select the two of them group them and uh, Control T, I'm going to rotate this like this. And I have this here. Rotate this um, to angle of... I think this angle is fine. I'm just going to leave this here. So selecting this, um, convert it to Smart Object. Duplicate this, Control J. And I'm going to flip this horizontally to this point here. So when you're done, you can click Enter like this. And... Uh, I'm going to go filter blow and apply some Gaussian blow to this. Okay, Gaussian blow like this. Click OK. And on the second one also, I'm going to apply blow, but the value is going to be different. Right? So I'm going to reduce the value here and click OK. So rotate this and uh, bring it downward like this. and um, create a new layer here and sample this color right and uh, solid color like this and um, this is darker i'm gonna move up so this is color code so you can copy this click ok like this and um, invert it Control i to invert with your brush selected you can make sure your foreground color is set to white paint in that color here right you can see how this is you might want to make this bigger and move her upward like this click enter when you're done so back to the text here i might have to use something different for this something light and okay i think i'm going to stick with the montserrat font I'm going to use something like this. All of this is included in the Smart Designer Premium Asset, right? Make sure you do not miss the opportunity to get this. So I'm just going to have this here aligned. And of course, the next thing I'm going to do is to add an extra detail to this. So I can move this downwards. I think this is perfect here. 
go to the topmost layer like this and control z that i'm just going to erase some of uh, the greens from the bottom use white to add use the black to remove all right so um go over to your rectangle to select the rectangle to and drag and drop like this drag and draw like this double click on the thumbnail like this and select the color of the foreground hit ok immediately go over to where you have the stroke remove the stroke like this and yeah so um let's modify this what you should do is go over to um so it's the direct selection tool right so this is it select this and you might want to click out click the shape again right make sure you're selecting the shape highlight the nodes on top like this right make sure you're highlighting the nodes on top and yeah click on yes and use your arrow key to move them to the right like this okay not too much somewhere around here is good and um, with this still selected adjustment and not really let's not use adjustment so double click on it and select gradient overlay under basic select this right click on this gradient click on this white click on color select the darker shade of the green and change the angle you can see what you are doing here and you can see it's live you can adjust it also here too so you can click ok here like this and this is set this is good just the way we want it go over to your texts and type book now like this so it's just going to be book now and i'm going to change the font to something that fits here Ctrl T to bring out the transform, make this bigger, and um, yeah, click enter when you're done. Go over to your ellipse tool, hold down shift and control where you're drawing to draw a perfect circle. Click on it, it's white, just remove the stroke like this. And you're left with this. You can see how nice this has turned out to be. So, um, go to the topmost layer like this. And uh, what you want to do is create a new layer here. Revert this, make sure you, your foreground color is white and you can just paint in some white here like this. Drag this layer to the bottom, just beneath the image like this. So it doesn't cover the text since it's actually a white layer like this. So you have those regions brighter. So go over to your resource file and drag the logo inside like this. So this is the logo of the company here like this. Drag it to the top while you reduce it from the edge like this and bringing it down like this so we have something like this so this is travel around and um, you want to change the color and tilt towards some like this green color here not entirely green but just a little bit of green on the black all right so this is what you have so select the image let's make some adjustment and of course make the image pop so what you want to do here is very very simple when the camera roll opens up the first thing you want to do is go over to texture bump up the texture like this clarity add some clarity make sure you're not doing too much and also the haze like this so your left is something like this and adjustment layer color balance copy my settings for this throwing some greens throwing some greens 
and for shadows and uh, make sure the, the blues uh, the blue level is not too much so somewhere around here is good and yeah so that's how i was able to create this flyer guys so if it's something you've gained value from make sure you don't forget to subscribe i will see you in the next video